to you on Seven Day. Okay. All right. Nice. You get a special treat. I have never been part of Neighborhood Eats. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the best, isn't it, mm -hmm. Lee? Mm -hmm. This week in Neighborhood Eats, we enjoy the flavors of the island of Sri Lanka via Staten Island. Prepare for some exotic dishes in Lauren Glassberg. Mm -hmm. Our bud is here with all the latest items. All right, a little bit on Sri Lankan food. It's similar to Indian food, but okay. the big difference is, well, you'll find plenty of curries in both cuisines, but Sri Lankans rely on coconut milk over yogurt to make many of those sauces. Mm. Tonight we're headed to San Rasa. It's located at 226 Bay Street, and that's in the Tompkinsville section of Staten Island. I came here in 1994. By the time, I think, I believe, like, uh, near about 2,000 people in Staten Island. So now it's near about uh, eight to 9,000 Sri Lankans are here. And with so many native Sri Lankans on Staten Island, Sanjay Handapangoda felt compelled to cook for them and for anyone else who wanted Sri Lankan food. Sanjay's a formerly trained chef going back to his roots at San Rasa, serving up favorites like string hoppers and a banana leaf dish called lamprey. Different uh, combinations of meat and nuts, chicken. Um, it's very, very good. Spicy? Um, it's not too spicy. A beginner could eat it. Another dish to try is made with super thin crepes called roti, which get chopped up into little bits. The dish is called kotu roti. This is like a very common thing, like everywhere where I go in Sri Lanka, you can get all the restaurants they're making in the front. Sanjay takes already marinated chicken and adds it to a tomato based curry sauce, which will then get finished off with coconut milk. Meanwhile, he sautes garlic and ginger along with curry leaves. He fries two eggs in that and then adds spices along with onions, green chilies, cabbage, carrots, leeks, and tomatoes. As that sautés, he adds the chopped roti and then mixes in that curry chicken with its sauce. He presents it like a pyramid, towering with Sri Lankan flavors. The food is really, really great. I mean, I've been to a lot of Sri Lankan restaurants and by far the best, the best tasting one. When I want to feel home, I come here, you know, and also I bring uh, my friends, uh, my clients, and so on and so forth, you know. It's authentic. It's very authentic. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll have the recipe for the Kotu Roti at 7 online. Click on Lifestyle and Fun. None of you has had Sri Lankan mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. right? This is so I good. Mean, and you were are you I, just, a I just took a picture of it to tweet out. Mm -hmm. tweet out. Yeah. No, this is excellent. Okay. You like the, you this want, is delicious. You're I love Indian food. You're so. for the morning show. Right? <laughs> yeah, you got to come in and do this. <laughs> no, 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 you no, can no, do no. it here on Friday. She is ours. She is ours. Fine. Rightly, we won't give her up. Not a chance. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much. Enjoy.